The following is a description of the supersynchronous mission flight profile of the ILS Proton launch vehicle with the MRSAT-5 F2 communication satellite on board. The first three stages function to propel the orbital unit into a suborbital trajectory. The orbital unit consists of the BREEZ-M, payload adapter system, and the MRSAT-5 F2 satellite. The sequence starts with the ignition of the powerful first stage engines that output 2.4 million pounds of thrust at sea level. As the ILS Proton lifts off from its launch pad, it immediately executes a roll maneuver to align its flight launch azimuth to 61.3 degrees in order to achieve a parking orbit inclination of 51.5 degrees as it travels in an east-northeast direction across Kazakhstan towards the Pacific Ocean. The engines fire for about two minutes, during which time the ILS Proton experiences maximum dynamic pressure. Then the first stage separation occurs. The second stage engines follow with nearly 540,000 pounds of thrust for 3.5 minutes, and then the third stage engine fires with 131,000 pounds of thrust for four minutes. The payload fairing is separated soon after third stage ignition, high above the Earth's dense atmosphere. At stage three separation, the orbital unit has traveled from Baikonur to Russia near the eastern edge of Kazakhstan at 51.5 degrees north latitude and is moving about 7,300 meters per second or 4.5 miles per second relative velocity. The upper stage of the ILS Proton rocket is called the BREEZ-M and is designed to inject payloads into a wide variety of target orbits. There are five BREEZ-M burns in this SSTO mission design. The first BREEZ-M burn occurs about a minute and a half after the third stage separation, when the orbital unit is still in a suborbital trajectory. This will last long enough to achieve a low Earth circular parking orbit of 173 kilometers. This 4.5 minute burn spans from Siberia to Russia's east coast. One revolution and about one and a half hours after the first burn main engine cutoff, the second BREEZ-M burn occurs. The resulting elliptical orbit is called the intermediate orbit and increases the apogee to 6,000 kilometers, the perigee to 295 kilometers, and decreases the inclination to 51 degrees. This 19.5 minute burn spans from the southern tip of the Japan island chain to 600 miles northeast of New Zealand. Two hours, 14 minutes after the second burn, the third BREEZ-M burn starts. Soon after this burn shuts down, the depleted auxiliary propellant tank is jettisoned and the fourth BREEZ-M burn begins. The resulting orbit is called the transfer orbit, where the apogee is greatly increased to a supersynchronous altitude of 65,000 kilometers. These two burns add up to just over 20 minutes. During the coast phases, the BREEZ-M performs attitude maneuvers in order for the NMARSAT 5F2 solar arrays to be exposed to the sun at a predetermined solar illumination angle, which is designed to satisfy its thermal and power requirements. Ten and a half hours later, during the fifth and final BREEZ-M burn, the orbital unit will perform a large plane change maneuver from 50.5 degrees to 26.75 degrees inclination in a 3.5 minute burn. The fifth BREEZ-M burn and spacecraft separation occur high above Papua New Guinea. About 12 and a half minutes later, the MRSAT 5F2 satellite is separated from the BREEZ-M to reach its targeted supersynchronous transfer orbit. The total mission time from launch to MRSAT 5F2 separation is approximately 15 hours and 31 minutes and the total travel distance is approximately three and a half times the circumference of the Earth.